In again with you, Ms. Gaston, and the issue candidates we will discuss this time is education. There has been a lot of talk from parents as well as other local officials about breaking away from the Charleston County School District as a result of issues concerning transparency and diplomacy among its board of trustees. So candidates, would you consider leveraging your influence if elected mayor to push for an independent school district? a school district independent of the Charleston County School District. I ask first that you answer yes or no and then explain your response. Again, Ms. Gadsden, we begin with you and you have 60 seconds. Uh, no, I wouldn't. Um, I'm a byproduct of the Charleston County public school systems and I believe in supporting our public school systems. I don't think that whenever problems arise, we need to just you know, lop off the, the problematic part. I do think what leadership could do is disavow any hate groups or any far, far extremist, partisan extremists that have influenced our local school board, we could disavow and distance ourselves from that, that problematic faction. And I think true leadership will call it out and distance himself from that, that type of uh, activity. Ms. Gatson, thank you. Ms. Gammons, your response, and you have 60 seconds to respond. I don't see it as a yes or no question. It would be difficult to say yes, independent school district, or no, the Charleston County School District. As mayor, I would encourage the Charleston County School District board members, trustees, to do what they are elected to do, and that is to represent our students, to educate our students. So I would continue to push for that. When you have an independent school district, then you're asking for individual monies and funds, and that could create a disservice for our students. So our students should come first. Education is super important. My grandmother had to drop out of school in the third grade in order to work. So I understand the importance of education. And so what we need to do is put our students first. And I, as mayor, I will work with the Charleston County School District to do that, to hold them accountable for what they're doing. I'll be at the school board meetings, holding them accountable to ensure that they remember the children. Ms. Gammons, thank you. Mr. Cogswell, 60 seconds to respond, please. Thank you. Yeah, it's an interesting question, uh, one that I haven't really thought about, but uh, if I had to answer the question, I would probably say no. Um, but, but I will say it's really unfortunate what's happening at the school board uh, and the school district right now. It's really certainly not helping the kids. Um, and as mayor of Charleston, you're supposed to be the mayor of everybody in the city. Uh, and when it comes to children, uh, the mayor's job really is to make sure that the kids feel safe, kids can get to school on time uh, through traffic and flooding, and that teachers can live affordably near their houses. I mean, that's where uh, their focus should be as mayor. Um, and, you know, the school board needs to work itself out. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Cogswell. Mr. Middleton, your response? I would not. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things that go along with that. We all know that Moms for Liberty is bad. Uh, we should not think like this is something new. They've been doing this across the country. They did it in Berkeley County and voila, it happened here in Charleston. The issue is educating all of our kids is everyone's business. So as mayor of the city of Charleston, I would work to make sure that there is a strong partnership with the superintendent and the board as it relates to making sure that there are no low performing schools in the city of Charleston, to making sure that we close the summer learning loss that exists for too many of our kids. And I would reinvigorate the mayor's office of children, youth, and families so we think about all of this holistically and have the partnerships that are in place beyond August, first day back to school. If we were to do those things consistently and make sure that our community centers are extensions of learning, we can raise the academic achievement as well as the workforce and economic development opportunity for all kids and families in the city of Charleston. Thank you, Mr. Middleton. Mr. Tecklenburg, your response, please. You have 60 seconds. The board's job should be to provide an excellent education for all kids in Charleston County. Clearly, the present board is off track, and I've called for them to increase their transparency. They've been making decisions behind closed doors without public <coughs> access. For them to do their job and focus on educating our kids rather than all these other issues they've gotten um, um, in a quagmire over. And to, I've asked them to have a super majority when they hire or fire a superintendent. They need to build some trust and build some consensus on that board. 
I don't know why the legislature, when they switched over to single member districts, didn't require a majority of uh, voters to elect out of each district. I think that should be revisited. But honestly, if this board is not willing to focus on education of our kids, yes, I would advocate for uh, the state to allow deconsolidation. Thank you very much, Mr. Tecklenburg. Mr. Shayed, you have one minute to respond. Same yes, question. thank you. We have to remember one thing, that the present members of the school board were duly elected by the public. This is democracy. We not, may not agree with them, we may have uh, problems with them, but they're duly elected members of the school board. And they have a responsibility, like all governing bodies, to be open and transparent on all their actions and all their votes and the decisions that they make in an open forum. I served on parochial school boards before. I understand the challenges that school boards have. But the Charleston County School District has a one responsibility. Unlike local governments have, they have one responsibility. And that responsibility is to provide a quality education for all of our citizens throughout the Charleston County region. Provide the necessary facilities that are required and provide for good income for our teachers to make sure that they're following their, their mission. And that is what I would be doing is making sure that they are uh, fulfilling that obligation. Thank you.